Okay, so you want to learn about batteries, LiPo batteries in particular, how to charge them, how to store them, how to make sure that they work pro properly, how to make sure you don't burn down your house, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so um, let's, let's get into it. So there are different types of batteries, um, specifically leads, right? So this is the EC3. This is the EC5, this is the QS8, um, that's the Traxxas, um, yeah, and there's different types of battery chargers. Um, so Traxxas, let's get into Traxxas first. Um, I like Traxxas because it's plug and play. You don't have to worry about any tomfoolery, you just plug it in and you, you, you know, you could balance charge it fast charge it store it yada 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 one two three quick that's advantages the disadvantages is is that you're only you know you're pretty much stuck with just one type of battery and you could it's pretty much monopolized you could only use their battery charger and their batteries only which isn't really the case. I mean, if you have a Traxxas model, you could change the leads and use any battery that you want. Um, all right, so for instance, so with that, when you plug it in, right now, obviously, I got this battery plugged in. This battery is done storing, so I'm just going to unplug this. Um, this is currently in storage mode. Uh, rule of thumb with batteries is is that if they're full if they're fully charged and you're not planning on using it let's just say you charged it and you had plans to go out and some freak storm happened or something came up where you're not going to be able to go out and have fun you know you put it into storage mode it takes really really long to put it into storage mode like it takes like as far as charging it it takes a while, but to store it, it takes a really long time. So, but nonetheless, you want to put in storage mode for longevity and to get the most out of your battery life. All right. Um, so that's not just Traxxas batteries, but that's all battery types, right? So like this battery is EC5, this battery type is QS8 and this battery type is EC3 and as you can see with these universal chargers they got the leads put it in and yeah it, it's it's basically the same so right now I currently have two 9500 milliamp 4s batteries right so they have like low so basically so basically if you take a look see here you connect one over here like so in here and then you put the balance charge here if it don't fit it don't belong so this is 4s 3s 2s this is 5s 6s and yeah so i got two of these batteries connected and obviously it tells you program select lithium battery, lithium battery. Let's just say I want to go to nickel back, whatever. It tells you different types of batteries, but we want to go with lithium because these are lipo batteries. Okay. Then obviously remember this is 9,500 milliamps. They're both 9,500 milliamps plugged into this. So let's go here. I immediately noticed that it's 4s but if not you could change that up but it's currently at lipo storage which we don't want so nope hold on nope so you want to press right discharge balance charge that's what we want lipo balance charge and then we want to go all the way up to 9,500 amps, which equates to 9,500 milliamps. So let's do the same thing on the bottom. Balance charge. Nope. 
9500 and we haven't started yet press and hold both of them it says cancel or confirm enter and voila you're charging you're charging up your battery these are the QS8s my Traxxas battery is currently being stored because I don't need my thing but as you can see I have so many batteries like take a look see here this is a 6s battery um, yeah 6s you could tell 22.4 uh, volts and you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and that's it. Uh, never leave a battery unsupervised. Make sure that all batteries that you're not using, you keep it in a safe location. I opted to get a surplus ammo can see like this is these are all store these these are all um basically in storage mode they're all storage mode all these batteries um god damn it why is my sorry about that so i'm putting all my batteries that are in storage mode in here because they're all discharged all right. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Like so. Like so. And then just basically want to close it. And that's it. Uh, this is a surplus uh, military um, ammo, ammo box. Uh, all in all. Yeah, it's it's not it's not you know difficult to learn, um, but you do need to learn it because you can't just do as you please because you could definitely set ablaze your whole house. And yes, this whole cluster is is just for demonstration purposes only. Normally, I would keep these in a lipo bag and then charge it right um but just for youtube educational purposes this is how i have it set up obviously i didn't put these away but uh all in all i hope this video was informative i think i made a video about how to just charge and discharge and store on traxxas but we didn't talk about all the other batteries. Um, these are all different. Like these two, like these two chargers, they're essentially the same, but different manufacturers. C24 Duo AC, have no clue. But this one's the P150 Pro Duo. Like same thing though, tomato, tomato. They both work the same way. They cost about 80 something dollars. I'll put a description and the um i'll put a link in the description below i am an amazon affiliate so yeah hope this video was informative i hope you charge your batteries the appropriate way safely i hope that you know you don't destroy any of your batteries like these 9500 milliamp uh 4s batteries they're expensive <laughs> you know they're, they're really really expensive uh yeah like comment subscribe i guess i covered everything i don't know what else to say i'm still waiting for this traxxas 3s battery to finish uh discharging and being in storage mode but yeah this is this is what i do uh, i have so many batteries and because i have so many rc cars um i like to have two batteries multiple leads um yeah you could change the battery leads. You could change the leads on your RC car or whatever device you're using. Anyways, we're reaching the 10 minute mark. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace in the Middle East.